What's better than a beautiful day exploring the open road with wind in your face? Discovering Wisconsin by motorcycle and all of the amazing places to stop along the way. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. Champion never ends For every season there's Another reason for you to come discover Wisconsin It's that time of year again. Grab those helmets, let those engines roar, and get ready to ride Wisconsin. And why not start right here in Monroe at Cutter Harley-Davidson? Settled at the bottom of the dairy state, Monroe is just 45 miles south of Wisconsin's capital. And while arguably better known for the delicious cheese, riding here is something you can't miss. Why don't we start our riding adventure by finding the perfect ride? Monroe Cutter showcases everything Harley-Davidson, a Wisconsin classic. Whether you're a serious rider or just a weekend warrior, there's nothing like the feeling when you throw your leg over a hog. And at Cutter, you can discover that feeling on a number of Harleys. While some may be shopping for a new hog, I was more interested in outfitting myself with some Harley gear. And I joined a new friend to help me out. Let's shop. All right, sounds good. The Harley color. See? I love it. We got it matching. Nice. Very cool. But we didn't rain. come to Monroe Harley just to enough. shop. We came to ride. Let's roll! Riding through Monroe, you'll get a true flavor of Wisconsin. The openness of country roads, beautiful farmland. Who wouldn't enjoy this? How does it feel to be on the back of a bike and to see the scenery from a different aspect that you grew up around? I love it. I love riding. So pretty, and especially this area, the rolling hills, everything is so green. So being on the back of the bike and getting to see that, it's a totally different experience and it's awesome. Looking for some tips on where you can experience some of these scenic rustic roads? Stop in at the Monroe Chamber, where they'll be more than happy to help you find a route. While most motorcyclists prefer traveling the countryside, to get a true taste of the area's heritage and hospitality, make sure your route takes you to Monroe's downtown square. Oh, Monroe is just a wonderful community. There's so much tradition here. Uh, I love the, the downtown, the square is such a beautiful place. I love the uh, restaurants, the shops uh, down here. This is a, a great downtown. We have specialty shops here it's where you get personalized service. We have uh, Chocolate Temptations on the east side of the square, which is absolutely a chocoholics destination because they can go in there and just have any kind of chocolate they want. Um, of course, you know, the eateries, you know, are, around the square are wonderful. It's just really just a nice, um, nice environment to spend your day. Famished from a long ride, we stopped for a quick bite at the world-famous Bumgartner's for cheese sandwiches. I have never had a better hard salami in Swiss. Now I'm really starting to feel like a local. What do you guys call this place? Bummies. That was outstanding. No wonder they're world-famous. Monroe may be becoming just as known for its craft beer as it is for its cheese. So make it a point to take a tour of the Minhas Brewery and their distillery. You'll get to go behind the scenes and see how they brew their creations and sample some of their finest drafts. If you happen to be downtown on select evenings in summer, just ride in to join the crowd for Main Street Monroe's Concerts on the Square something everybody can enjoy. It really is something for the whole family. You see kids running around enjoying themselves and dancing. You have people of all ages. Yes, it's a great way to spend your evenings in the summer. But that's not the only event held at the downtown square. Monroe is home to one of the largest festivals in Wisconsin, Cheese Days. Held in September during even-numbered years, people from all over the world gather for this well-known celebration of cheese. From deep-fried cheese curds, to Swiss Heritage Entertainment. If it's got cheese, it's here. Hey look, a cow milking contest. Guess I've gotta give that a try, especially if it means I can compete against our friends at Cutter. I got a defective cow. Even though I won, Scott was a good sport and invited me out for another ride. 
see more of my Cheese Days competition, and download motorcycling maps by visiting discoverwisconsin.com and choosing Monroe as your destination. Coming up, we'll show you why these guys are really burning rubber. Stay tuned. We're back, riding more of Wisconsin. Looking to explore some of the newest and most unique rides of the season? We're seeking out one extremely well-known name when it comes to motorcycles. So we're heading east to the largest city of the Badger State and arriving at the Harley-Davidson Museum in Milwaukee for their custom bike show weekend. I love this city! Woo! Ride, drive, or walk on over and kick off this annual Labor Day weekend event with Bike Night a Harley-Davidson Museum tradition on Thursday evenings throughout the riding season. And when we visited in 2012, they were kicking off another milestone. Let's hear it from Milwaukee, where it all started back in 1903, and home to our great museum. The camaraderie is outstanding, making anyone feel welcome. You'll find live music, Food, ice cold beer, and of course, more motorcycles than you'll care to count. You can even try one for yourself to see how you like the sound and feel of a real hawk. Although, you might not get very far. And while bike night ends, the Harley Davidson Custom Bike Show Weekend is just getting started. Come back on Friday and Saturday to check out the AMD Invitational Custom Bike Show, where you'll see some of the most spectacular and award-winning custom motorcycles in the world. This weekend, we have the Pro Builders, and that's a group of professional builders that build these unbelievable pieces of rolling sculpture. They're motorcycles that the attention to detail is unlike anything else you'll see. Joined with me today is Dar Holtzworth. He's a custom bike builder. And take a look at these two bikes. He builds both of these, but we want to talk about this bike in particular because this is really the most sexy of the two. This bike recently won the World Championships of Custom Bike Building in the production class uh, in Sturgis. Well, here's the best thing. Most custom bikes, you can't ride them. And you build these to be able to ride. Absolutely. I mean, what's the point of building a bike if you can't ride exactly. it? It's easy to see why these custom bikes are award worthy. And although I wasn't an official judge, we thought we'd give some ratings of our own. Oh, this one, I've seen this before. This is Dar's bike, 9.9 .9 all the way. While the custom bikes are certainly impressive on their own, this event wouldn't be what it is without the abundance of motorcycle fans. What's really neat is it's open to the public. Whether you're a rider or a non-rider, we'd love to have everybody here. Everybody is welcome, but if you do ride in, you may want to take your bike over to the Pinstripe Legends tent, where they'll give you some fresh style and color. See bonus footage of me attempting to learn the Pinstripe craft on our website under Harley-Davidson Museum. I've proven you don't have to be a pro to have fun here. And you don't have to be a professional bike builder to showcase your skills either. So we came back on Sunday to visit the Harley Davidson Museum Custom Bike Show. Riders from all over come to see where their machines rank and get inspiration from others' work. Don't have a custom bike or don't ride at all? That's okay because everyone is welcome to come and view these rolling pieces of art. And if that isn't enough for you, the Harley-Davidson Museum is open the entire weekend. You know, the museum is a perfect, I call it a playground, because people can come down to the museum, spend all day here. We have a restaurant here, we have a retail store. It's just a great atmosphere, and people are having fun. Don't go away. We're just getting started with a lot more motorcycles to see and much more riding to do. And, Stay tuned to find out why thousands of bikers are lined up right here in Tomahawk. Ride Wisconsin continues now on Discover Wisconsin. Our next adventure takes us north, traveling up Highway 51 just north of Wausau, 
to the well-known motorcycle destination of Tomahawk. Any riding enthusiast will tell you the scenic roads around Tomahawk are well worth the trip. And if you're looking for the best, there's one road that is an absolute must-see. And I think when people come to Tomahawk, especially for a fall ride, and if they ask you where should we go for a good ride, I think probably one of the top destinations is you have to make the trip down to 107. From the 107, you can start exploring even more of the area. Cruise on the country roads, cross the Veterans Memorial Bridge for a view of the Wisconsin River, or my favorite, head downtown to check out some of Tomahawk's eclectic shops. You know me, I can never pass up a chance to go thrifting. There's so many fun things in these quaint antique shops, you never know what you'll find. Ready? Smile. Getting hungry from all the riding and shopping? Stay in downtown Tomahawk and head to Pine Tree Supper Club for a relaxing, fun atmosphere and a refreshing meal that's sure to curb your appetite. The Silver Birch Supper Club is another outstanding option with a menu that will for sure have your mouth watering. Cheese, how could you even choose where to start? Well, maybe we gave you too many recommendations for dinner, but dessert, we've got something special. Ride over to the historic windmill and order their famous to die for ice cream and enjoy it with a great view by walking out on the adjacent dock looking over Lake Nokomis. Looking for an evening scenic ride to activity, sporting great company, a relaxing atmosphere, and live music? Tomahawk's Music on the River at Veterans Memorial Park comes alive with free performances every Wednesday night throughout the summer. Tomahawk is a great destination to visit anytime, but there's a certain annual event that motorcyclists absolutely shouldn't miss. A fall ride every year is the second weekend after Labor Day weekend up here in Tomahawk and it brings anywhere between 35,000 and 50,000 bikers to our area. Um, it's a great time. We have many different um, activities going on in the community. We have Baba Bigs party out in Nokomis which is just north of Tomahawk. Then we come here and we have the Brat Fry and Bonfire. The festivities continue throughout the weekend. Hang around downtown to search for that new piece of riding gear that lets everyone know you came to ride. Oh yeah, this completes the outfit. Or head out to Sarah Park for more live music, delicious food, official hog pins, and even activities for the kids. Oh yeah, now this is more my speed. During Fall Ride, Harley-Davidson's Tomahawk Operations Plant hosts an open house where you can tour the facility that produces many components of those legendary Harley-Davidson's. And then when the first robot comes out and picks apart the part, it's going to go to this movement over here and we're going to cut off those gates and we recycle those as well. Oh, ma I could use a little to see more hands. footage of my inside that. look of the Harley plant, visit discoverwisconsin.com and choose Tomahawk as your destination. Just wait, there's one more very important part of the fall ride we can't forget, the Thunder Parade. It's a loud parade with lots of motorcycles and you just feel the vibration and the shaking of the ground, the rumbling of the bikes. Our journey of Tomahawk may be ending, but coming up, we're taking these bikes along Lake Superior and we'll show you how I became captain for a day. Captain. Thank you. Start your engines back up. There's still more riding on Discover Wisconsin. When you hear the term up north, how far north do you really think? With 86 miles of Lake Superior shoreline, Bayfield County is located at the very top of the state and provides one spectacular ride through Washburn, Bayfield, and the South Shore Harbor Towns. We have over 800 miles of paved roads with incredible views, including the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore and the Schwamigan Nicolay National Forest. State Highway 13, which loops around the northern part of the county, has been designated Wisconsin's newest scenic byway. 60% of it, you're right on lakeshore. You're seeing a big lake, beautiful air to breathe. 
And then coming back through, you're hitting a lot of woods and curves, and it's just, it's nice country just to be in the wide open spaces. It's not just the riding that makes Bayfield County an amazing ride to destination. There's plenty to see and do off the bike as well. Try starting at the Northern Great Lakes Visitor Center, where you'll find information on the entire area and a museum that highlights the history of the land, water, and wildlife. And if you thought the view from the motorcycle was great, just wait till you check out the observation tower at the Northern Great Lakes Visitor Center. I know, it's a mouthful, but it's worth it. From five stories up, you'll truly get a bird's eye view of Bayfield County. Just a short ride from the Visitor Center, the Washburn Historical Museum and Cultural Center provides a close and personal peek at some of the area's oldest antiques and memorabilia. Continuing into the city of Bayfield, you'll get an even closer view of Lake Superior as you pass one of the area's 10 marinas. And if you're a history buff like me, you may want to visit this hidden gem. Welcome aboard the Bayfield Maritime Museum, where it's hands-on fun for the entire family. Into more of an artistic scene, Bayfield County has that too. There's a big artist community up here because um, Lake Superior and the islands draw local artists to the area. So there's lots of galleries to explore. In the evening, we have great entertainment. In the summertime, there's Big Top Chautauqua, which has local historic musicals, as well as national artists that come and perform there. And then year round, Stage North Theater is uh, our little gem of Washburn, and they put on productions all year long and also have live music. Find more shows and artisans in the area by visiting our website and choosing Bayfield County as your destination. All of this riding and exploring has worked up my appetite. And we're in luck. Bayfield County has some of the best orchards and berry farms in Wisconsin. And as if that weren't enough, you can head into the shop and find even more, especially if it's made from apples. Now this is how I like my apples. It just needs a scoop of ice cream. Um, some ice cream, please. And what better place to relax and eat than right next to the beach? Ah, now that hit the spot. If you're anything like me, all the fresh air that you get on the back of the bike makes you just a little tired. The lakefront walking path right here is a great place to stop and kind of stretch your legs so you can get back on the bike and see the rest of the views. From the serene ride on these beautiful country roads, Bayfield County makes for one great ride to destination. Now this is truly Wisconsin. No matter where you ride in our great state, you're sure to find something to enjoy. Whether it's the scenic beauty on the road, the local food and events, or simply the great people you meet along the way. From the bottom to the top, there's a place for you to ride in gorgeous Wisconsin. To get started, just visit discoverwisconsin.com and choose Ride Wisconsin as your destination. I'm Emmy Fink and we'll see you out on the road. Let's hit it, Greg. For more information and bonus video from the episode, go to discoverwisconsin.com. While you're there, click on the Kadiddle link to watch entire episodes from this season or past seasons. And don't forget, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discover Wisconsin Radio all across the state. And Emily, someday when we fill up our hog bank, we can afford one of these babies. Oh, yes. Think they'd let us take it for a spin? Maybe you, not me.